Okay, let's go over real quick the 2013 Ford Escape EcoBoost uh, four-cylinder. So here we are in the very front passenger side, um, like I talked about last night. Here's that scratch, that scrape that uh, maybe they hit a curb or something like that. It doesn't go through the panel, so I uh, I'm not too worried about it. I think it I think it's uh, it's it's you know, typical front front stuff for a four-year-old car that's four-wheel drive. Um, tires, like we talked about last night, are awesome. I mean, they are really, really good tires. Um, so I, th I think you'll be good there. They're Pirelli brand. They're, they're really nice. Um, that scratch that I was talking about, you can probably barely even see it. I couldn't even get a good picture of it, but I'll go on an angle. You can see right here, and then I kind of wiped right here last night, and it it goes away pretty nicely. So I think that'll come out in a buff. The scratch I was talking about on the passenger side door is right there, if you can see that. Um, that one's just a, you know, about a half inch and and uh, kind of is what it is. <laughs> so it's, I don't think it's too bad though, it's not too noticeable. Um, here's your top of your car, it'll be a little bit of dirty, we've got a little bit of rain, but um, definitely everything is good up there. On the rear that I was talking about, by the handle there's your scratches by the handle and then also just on the bottom on the cover bumper there's a little bit of scraping right here that i noticed so i just want to let you know that okay um this is kind of cool it, it's automatic or you can do it from your remote okay that opens up pretty cool and then also you can close it with your remote as well by pressing twice or you can press this button right here and so it closes pretty nicely. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so a little bit more scuffs on that bottom part right there. Not Nothing too bad. Here's that other uh, scrape on the driver's side rear door. That's really the main stuff on the, on the driver's side is just that little scrape by the, by the rear door. Everything else looks pretty great. Um, a couple cool features that I like is if it's locked, you push twice on the remote right here and it starts your car right up okay push it once and it shuts off let me show you that plastic piece I was talking about as you can see this plastic piece right here is missing and this one has it. it's just this little vented like it's not even vented it's just for looks plastic piece missing but at the same time for the price I think it's a, a pretty awesome deal um, I have been driving the car so kind of give me a break <laughs> I love it so much so anyway I'll show you inside a little bit um, so you got inside it's a push button start just push the brake okay everything uh, comes on I got 28 miles to empty so I probably should take care of that uh, no other lights on except that gas light right and the seat belt because I haven't moved yet um, I like the display I think the display is pretty awesome um, I also love how big the uh, backup camera is along with it moves with where your car is going see how it kind of is going on the angle as I turn the steering wheel I really like that it helps you kind of back into certain places um, you've got dual climate control you've also got you see here a, you know a plus and a minus and sport mode so you can put in sport mode and shift um, there's also your uh, heated seats speaking of seats your seats are in great shape okay We've also we'll look in the back. There's my backpack and my nephew's car seat, but your seats are all in great shape. You got your panoramic sunroof. One thing that's weird is there's no lights in the middle. The lights are all right here, so you have it on door mode, whatever. But you got your nice lights, and it turns your lights on. So that's kind of cool too. Um, anyway, you want to see your sunroof probably, if uh, I knew how to do it right. <laughs> so you got a pretty. You know, you got your sunroof. So anyway, it's an awesome car. I love it. I think you'll love it. And I am excited for uh, for you to drive it.